Okay, so now we're going to have a discussion about humidity and the effects of humidity in the incubation and the rearing process. Okay, what, what humidity does to the incubating egg, it has an effect on the weight loss trend of the egg over the incubation period. How does it affect the weight loss? And what happens with the egg? The egg, the egg, the egg shell has got many, many small pores, pores in it. And through those pores, oxygen is sucked in to go into the allotropic membrane, mm -hmm. and carbon dioxide, the product of respiration, is excreted out there. Mm -hmm. But in that process, there's a lot of moisture going through it as well. Mm -hmm. So because the, the, the egg is basically 100% or nearly 100% moisture, there is a more moisture is being lost through those pores. If you've got a, a dry environment outside, you have a lot more water loss, a more, lot more of a weight loss of the, of, of the uh, chick in the egg. Mm. Our work shows clearly that as long as the humidity the weight loss of the egg over the incubation period between the start and the external flipping is somewhere between 10 and 20 percent, it's quite you should have a, a viable chick hatch relatively easily. Okay, so the egg that we initially start incubation with is it gaining or losing weight when it hatches, by the time it hatches? It's losing weight all the time. Okay. And that weight loss is affected by one. The, the thickness of the shell, and secondly, the relative humidity in that incubation tube. Mm -hmm. The issues of when there's over 20% weight loss is the chick is very small at hatching, and so he's unable to manoeuvre himself to externally fit mm -hmm. and hatch. Mm -hmm. The converse is true when the, relative, when the weight loss is under 10%, he is that big in the air, he's also unable to manoeuvre himself you know, I personally don't well, first believe that the, the humidity which the incubator is running at has any effect on the actual health of the developing chip. Mm -hmm. What about you the understand? viability of the egg? It's, 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 no, it has zero effect. It won't make it fertile or infertile? It won't make it fertile or infertile, it won't make it have three legs or two legs or four legs, okay. It will affect the size of that chip when it comes to hatching. And that's the critical parameter. If it's over 20%, the chick is getting too small. If it's under 10%, weight loss, weight loss, it's, it, the chick is too big. So in regards to the humidity of the hatcher, mm -hmm. the chick has hatched, the shell is broken, therefore I imagine there's a lot of moisture getting lost then. What is the importance of humidity and where's the general rule that we could be aiming for? The rear issue, the humidity is definitely important when, you, when the egg is hatching. If the humidity is too low, the chick dries out very rapidly and gets, will get stuck on the, on the side of the shell in the, in the hatching process. Yeah. Similarly, if the humidity is too high, when the chick rotates the shell cap as part of the hatching process, it sort of, although it, uh, the shell is broken, it sort of reseals over again and the chick is unable to get that cap off. Okay, so too high humidity almost creates too much elasticity and That's correct. Correct with the internal membranes, the eggshell. That's correct. Um, and too low humidity will get too dry and will actually stick and That's become hard. Correct. So we, also, what's the humidity that we should be looking at? We normally target with our hatches around 60% mm -hmm. relative humidity. At what temperature? At 36 and a half degrees, 36 or 36 and a half degrees, something like that, centigrade. Yeah. And that seems to work well. You definitely, people, and many people in the past have used higher humidities. Mm -hmm. Strongly disagree. You, there's an argument, okay, that even at 65% or 60% relative humidity, too high. Yeah. We perhaps could be, but again, you need to be looking at the chick, yeah. and again, you need to be watching that chick very closely at the hatching period, because if you may need to assist him. If he rotates, for example, yeah. and the membranes are all stuck together, yeah. you're going to have to help him. And I dare say that a chick that has had a high weight loss could deal with a increased humidity at the hatching That's process true. and vice versa. That's correct. It's related in the incubator, related to how you put the water in the incubator. If you have a small container like that with a very small surface area on the top, you won't get much humidity raised in the incubator. Even though you've got a lot of water in the reservoir, a lot of water. you've got a small... You've got that same amount of water and so it has a far bigger surface area, the humidity will rise considerably.